Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here to listen to my story today. You know, some days are so good you want it to last forever. I'm sure you've had days like that. And did you know that Jesus' disciples had days like that too? Our Bible lesson today is about one of those days. One day Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him up onto a mountain to pray. As Jesus was praying, something very strange happened. The Bible says that the appearance of his face began to change and that his clothing became as bright as a flash of lightning. Then Moses and Elijah, two men who had gone to heaven a long, long time ago, they appeared with Jesus. They were talking with Jesus about how he was going to die. When Peter saw this, he could not believe his eyes. How could Moses and Elijah be here standing and talking with Jesus? The whole thing was so incredible, Peter told Jesus he thought they should stay up there on the mountain and build three tents, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter didn't understand that this wonderful experience on the mountain wasn't meant to last. It wasn't a place to stop and set up camp, but a starting place for God's greatest gift, the gift of salvation. Soon after this moment on the mountain, Jesus died on a cross, was buried, and rose from the grave so that you and I could have eternal life in heaven. If they had stayed on that mountain, they would have missed out on everything that was still to come. You and I will have many wonderful experiences as we follow Jesus. There's a song that says, Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. How true that is. When we have a great mountaintop experience like Peter did in today's lesson, we may wish that it would never end. But remember, when we follow Jesus and accept him as our Lord and Savior, the best is yet to come. Let's talk to God and thank him for that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the wonderful experiences you allow us to enjoy as we walk each day with Jesus. Help us to follow him wherever he leads us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm glad you were here for our story today. Come back next week and I'll have another one for you. Bye!